Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Nicholas Snow H, and I'm back with another Niju reaction. This is going to be the coconut dance practice, and then also the um, uh, reaction to one of their B-sides, Prism, which I was very curious about. I saw a few recommendations, uh, not here, but I was reading up about um, their latest album, and I think a lot of people enjoyed that song or wanted people to check it out. So I'm going to be doing that. Any other content that you would like me to check out, just leave a comment below and uh, I'll try to get to it in my next reaction. But yeah, I, I really like checking out the dance practices. I always find their dancing and, and their choreo very compelling. They are very synchronized and they also are able to, um, there's a big, there's like a large scope of moves that they're able to do through a song. And before I listen, I'm like, I feel like they're not able to do that much intriguing or fun things um you know the, the amount that they do yet every time they surprise me it's 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 a really like it's a real credit to i don't know who the choreographer is um but they just add so much to you know it could be like a bubbly song that you're like i don't know how they can dance to this and then they just every time see so yeah, well we're gonna get to it they already have the it looks like like beach kind of outfits on um should be fun, but I, I wish they were on a beach. That'd be cool. They'd probably enjoy it more than being in a, a dance practice room. But anyway, let's get to it. Three, two, one. Let me make sure the volume is okay. All right, let's go. And I really like the song. It was a great comeback. And I loved the intro to the song. It had like a real whimsical almost like you're entering like a carnival sort of feel um and the way they express it here so lighthearted and fun see i love those little touches they do and i um sorry i, I am going to pause this a lot if you want to hear my reaction to the song more check out my first reaction to coconut this one it's going to be a, a small comments about the song but also you know more about the choreo so here you see them kind of shaking around her it's a cool effect really like how when they branch off into duos trios you know um so much to look at I love that leg work they do, Kick, kicking it out to each side. So synchronized. Oh my god. They do it so smooth too. Those moves can look really awkward if you don't fully commit to it. You know, anything with the, like the knees um, or even like... Uh, I think when Twice had the the infamous like crab walk in uh, Alcohol Free, it's, it was sort of similar after that. Um, but they just the way they're able to um, do it at the same time, but also do it in a way that just comes across as like fun and and you know engaging and you know whimsical, like I mentioned earlier. That's when it, it just shines, you know. Hold on, I'm gonna go back a little bit. I feel like none of them are off beat at all. That's such a cute part. I've never seen something like this in, in any sort of choreo. This, 
the part before this, there's a lot of like arm movement and hip movement. Here. A lot of hip movement. A lot of swinging arm stuff. You know, head stuff. The latter half of the chorus, more legs. Here. And then this part coming up. Or sorry, earlier it, it had that part. Oh. I love that effect. That high note. And then the ending pose. Oh man, I'm gonna go back just because I don't want the bright screen blinding me. It's pretty much how I thought it would be. You you, you take them who are very very talented, very underrated rapping, singing is very very quality. They never seem like they're out of their depth or um, making music that doesn't quite fit them. It's always something that really brings out their personalities and shows uh, like just how close they are. They seem like a very close close uh, knit group of, of girls. And that's that's what's so fun about them. They're why I enjoy reacting to them so much. Yeah, just the details in the choreography. Um, there's a really good mix of, you know, groups, pairs, um, not not too much like single, uh, like focusing on just one single member in, in this uh, particular choreo. There's some where you'll have one in the front uh, where that's like the main focus and then a bunch of people in the back doing uh, you know, doing other things. But this one, it was kind of more about uh, just them as a whole and they absolutely killed it. What I find them particularly good at is they're focusing on the different parts of the body as a as something that will draw the viewer's attention. So you'll have one part of the choreo that's more head, shoulders, arm focused, big movements there. Then you have the hips, you know, legs, knees. There, there's so much incorporated throughout, you know, using every body part to convey a message uh, within the song, uh, from the song. Uh, and yeah, they just every time they they do something so so fun and uh, really love that. Yeah, uh, let's go on to the song Prism. Can't wait to get to it. Let's go. All right. Um, I don't often like going to the lyric video ones, but it does help me match their voices to their faces, and then also. Um, it's just easier sometimes so yeah let's get to it excited three two one let's hear what prism sounds like i did not expect that intro kind of like a house song like a house track The instrumentation is this, and in this, can't even talk. It's crazy. And that bass too. Or like synth, synthy bass. A little, little groovy dance track. I want to hear that again. I love like dance tracks. Oh, I 
The lyrics are kind of funny, but I love it. The rapping with this. I like how it just shows her laughing, Ch like chuckling. I, I want to see them do a title track like this. This is the only like calmer part of the song so far. But you need it. Ooh. So good. go to the club that much but this one this would hit Like a glow stick or something. Mm. <laughs> I like that. That was really good. Yo, they killed that, man. That, that was, I'm very impressed by that. I'm, I'm probably sleeping on a lot of their B-sides because, like I mentioned, the, the lighthearted, cheery, bright concepts is something that i really learned to love because of them so i never want them to stop doing that but i feel like if they came out with like um a very like a song like this it's kind of refreshing it's still light in a way and, and upbeat but it just has that little dance house feel i don't know man they they would i think do really well and not to say they don't do well but they would it would be such a, a fun sound that a lot of groups aren't doing now you know what they do now is still something that a lot of groups have shied away from i feel like there's a specific sound that um especially in k-pop and i know they do they do j-pop but it's you know if, if they're performing on these shows and um a lot of the market or audience is um japanese korean based um you know why not i think it's just such a such a fun sound they're I don't know. I loved it a lot, and I'm gonna replay this a lot uh, after this. So, let me know what you guys thought of it. Anything I missed, I, I should know or check out. Um, yeah, leave a comment. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.